Hello everyone, my name is Will Foster and I'm a member of the studio team at Wessex Archaeology. At Wessex Archaeology, we're using structured light scanning, otherwise known as SLS, as our primary method of capturing objects for 3D output. We still use photogrammetry as an integral part of recording archaeology on site, but have found that for the recording of artifacts, SLS has become our go-to solution. The simple reason for this is it allows us to capture a very high level of detail quickly and efficiently, due to SLS being an active rather than passive scan process, as with photogrammetry. SLS works by shining a series of parallel lines from the projector, which you can see here on the front of our Artex spider. The deformation of the lines across the surface of the object are recorded by a set of 3D cameras, which you can see here, here and here. Finally, in the centre is the colour camera that records texture information for the diffuse or albedo map used to colour our 3D model at the end of the scan. Surrounding that camera are a series of LEDs that flash to illuminate the object during the scan. To capture our object, we go through a series of stages. First, we do a series of scan passes, where we'll typically scan the objects from a series of different angles. We then clean up the scans by removing unwanted elements such as the surface the object was scanned on. Next comes scan alignment. The scans are positioned correctly using a series of common reference points either from surface colour or via the geometry of the scan. It's at this point that we can confirm if we've done enough scan passes to capture the whole object. Registration is the fine tuning of the scan alignment. This is an automated process that refines our scans to maximise accuracy. Fusion is the stage whereby the set of scan passes are converted from a point cloud into a solid 3D mesh. Finally, we can carry out post-processing. This is often where the colour information is applied to the model, but it also includes optimising the mesh to reduce polygon count if necessary. This is the digital model of the mammoth bone. Whilst incredibly helpful for disseminating our artifacts for an online audience, we have other options for maintaining what ultimately is the sustainability of our collection. We can 3D print them to produce facsimiles that become part of our educational resources.